Welcome back. This is Pastor Dan Devil of Bethlehem United Methodist Church, Concord, Virginia. Part three ended with us asking the question, how did the Virgin Mary become pregnant? And since we believe that she was a virgin and that she did become pregnant by the Holy Ghost, how does that help us answer John the Baptist's call to repent, to go the other way, and to change? And so we begin part four with Luke chapter one. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman, Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing is impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Did you catch it? Did you catch what Mary said? Let it be to me according to your word. Mary, a virgin who had never been with any man, became pregnant by the power of the Word of God. Week after week, month after month, year after year, we come to church and hear the Word of God. But I wonder, do we realize that the Word of God has the same power today as it did 2,000 years ago when it took a virgin who had not known any man and caused her to become pregnant with the Son of the living God, Jesus. The answer to how Mary, a virgin, became pregnant is this. It happened by the power of the Word of God. And that's how you and I can repent. That's how we can turn around. That's how we can change. The Virgin Mary became pregnant with the Savior, Jesus, when the Word of God came into her life. And you and I can repent. We can turn around. We can change when we let the Word of God come into our lives. We want to end our message today with this challenge. If you want to reclaim the story of Christmas, I challenge you to reclaim the Word of God. 
this Christmas, let the power of the Word of God help you repent, help you turn around, help you change, and help you reclaim the Christmas story in your life. Amen. Thank you.